but John from the UK says that education and serious games sounds very interesting to me. Um, so maybe just quickly, let's touch on this idea of gamifying learning. And I mean, I think, um, you know, we've both had great experience with our kids going to Montessori uh, preschools where um, the Montessori philosophy was that, uh, you know, children and circulate at that early age learn the most by playing and that we could say extends into adulthood as well. And the application is huge because, you know, certainly my experience is that when you run an icebreaker or you get people to stand up and do something active in a classroom or a workshop setting, it unlocks a different part of their game and they engage a lot better and the output and the productivity and the level of fun, uh, you know, and insights that you're able to achieve within that workshop just goes up exponentially. So, so yeah. Terence, your thoughts there just in response to uh, uh, John talking about serious games? Oh, John, you've just opened up a, a can of worms there. I could go on for days about this. No, but uh, really, I'm so passionate about um, applying games to, to, to learning situations. I feel like, so we, we're still stuck in this pedagogical uh, model of what learning should be. And, and, and we should be moving towards an andragogical, which is, I know, a gimmicky term, but andragogy basically means adult learning. And there's, there's a couple of principles in, in, in andragogy that are so important. One of them is, you know, we want immediate relevance to what we're learning. If you put a book in front of us and we can't apply that knowledge, we're going to forget it. Mm. If, uh, the, the second thing is, is feedback. If, if we, don't under, we don't understand what we did wrong, as soon as we do it wrong, we, <laughs> we're less likely to change our behavior and make it right. Uh, and you know, there's so many other principles that, that have been picked up in adult psychology that just, yeah, there's uh, too much to go on on there. But um, one of the really interesting things is um, at Regenesis Business School, I'm actually working with the MBA students right now. And we've played two games. One game was called uh, Two Point Hospital, which is a, it's an off the shelf game. You can just buy it. Uh, it's not a bespoke, you know, customized game from a expensive company. Uh, it's just a game I found and I thought it would be nice. And it just teaches them about project management. And, um, it's funny. Uh, it's actually, it's, it's a humorous game. It's, you know, there's a people come in with the pandemic and the pandemic is they've got a pan stuck to their head and they have to go get taken to a room where the pan is removed forcefully with a machine. But it's a, it, the humor actually uh, drives emotive learning. So we attach an emotion to the things that we're learning. And that is such a key thing. You know, we remember the, the best stories that we've told, been told. Um, you know, ask anybody about their, ask any adult about their favorite uh, Marvel superhero or, or uh, if they grew up with Pokemon, which is their favorite Pokemon. They'll tell you everything about it, right? Mm. Because it's an emotion attached to mm. their experience with that thing. So, yes, I, I don't want to take up too much time. I was just going to say yes. Education <laughs> and serious games definitely need more research. There's so much that we can explore here. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm doing my PhD in this. Um, I want it to be a positive learning experience and a positive well-being experience. So, you know, <clears throat> one of the big things in, in, in education is homework is actually stressful. They've, this is, mm. this is uh, researched and found to be true. Homework is stressful. What if, we, what if we've had games for homework? You know, what, is, what would that change? Would that help us? Would that uh, impede learning? Well, we don't know yet. We we need to test these kind of things out. Mm. So mm. yes, <laughs> I won't go too <laughs> I won't go too much into it. <laughs> I know I know you can speak for days on this topic, Terrence, and that's fantastic. And I I'm passionate about it as well. And I, I think yeah. it is critically important. Um, you know what they say is that people won't always remember what you tell them, but they remember how you how you made them feel, right? And if you can connect yeah. what you want to teach them with their feelings and emotions at the time, you've got a greater chance of, of, of transferring that insight and knowledge to them. And hopefully that comes through in our courses. I think, Terence, the two courses that we've shared today and that hopefully people will take advantage of, uh, you know, really strives to include that engagement and taking people on a journey and tapping into the emotion of getting value through those projects and getting the immediate gratification of applying the skills and seeing um, the, the, the value that they can uh, achieve in their lives through those new skills, you know, it creates the relevance from going through the content. Um, so there's lots that you'll see in those courses. We encourage you at different stages throughout the course, you'll get your certificate. Semin, uh, great to see that you've enrolled and that you'll leave some ratings and reviews there. Please share your certificate on LinkedIn and tag Digital Regenesis with your certificate and say, hey, Digital Regenesis, I uh, got my certificate. Thanks for a great course. And our, 
our CEO, uh, Marco Saravania, will see it uh, and see the great value that uh, the faculty and Terence, uh, through his instructional design input and, and leadership uh, at Re Digital Regenesis, is achieving uh, with their students. So, Terence, with that, we've come to the end of our webinar. Guys, there's lots of resources and links and articles and obviously the two courses that I provided in the chat. Um, this webinar will be available as a recording at the same link if you want to go through it again. And of course, Terence is, you know, you can contact him through Digital Regenesis um, and all those links are available on the Digital Regenesis uh, homepage that we shared previously and which is accessible uh, on the landing page. Terence, last thoughts as we close off today. Um, so yeah, no, it was it's it's nice to to talk about the data science, and machine learning, and artificial intelligence. Um, we're going to say the group, right? It's a, it's a group of subjects that is going to be so important in 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 every field and every sector, um, especially now as we're moving more and more into that digital transformation. Um, but yeah, no, if you want to invite me back to talk about games, that's also good. <laughs> no, but <laughs> but really, um, you if you do the coding course, the, the the data science, the machine learning, and the AI course, you know, you're gonna get such a good foundation. Um, and you know, this might pique your interest and you might actually pursue something more formal and serious in that in that field. But um, you know, this will give you enough knowledge to, you know, hold stand your ground if somebody does ask you questions um related to these things and you know you can take it to your boss and say hey i would like to you know experiment a bit with this because you'll you'll have some hands-on practical knowledge you will be able to do a few yep. of the um applications so yep. yeah no uh, there's a great value in this and um yeah i look forward to your comments and yeah please contact me if you have any questions that's great terence thank you and that's exactly what we try and achieve here at the student success coach and simon thanks again for your comments I'm glad we met your expectations of an informative discussion and hope you get lots of value from those courses. And I think last thought from my side is that, you know, these short online courses, as long as they're good quality, really get you into topics that you might be interested in before you make a long term investment in money and time uh, into changing careers or a changing track at university, etc. And, you know, consistently in our webinars and in the Facebook group and here on the YouTube channel, we give you access into those resources. Uh, we give you access to people like Terence and others that we get in for an interview so that you can ask those questions. You can, you know, really just dive into different topics. Uh, and, and the more informed you are, the better decisions you can make. Uh, but as I always say, and as we, as we always end off our webinars, it is still up to you to go and take action uh, just to either experiment or make those big changes in your life or uh, learn about these new topics to equip and empower yourself so that you can be successful as a student and in your career. So Terence, thanks very much to you and the team at Digital Regenesis and Regenesis Business School. Um, have a super weekend. Uh, thanks everyone for your comments. And uh, I have also put a link to the Facebook group in the chat, so please join us there. And with, that's where we have lots of more regular daily discussion and interaction uh, on all topics relating to, to student success. So, Terence, thanks to you. Thanks to everyone. Have a super weekend. Cheers, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for uh, inviting me. Cheers.